2021 PMP lessons learned from Mohammed, praise on student. Mohammed, our student, has passed the exam and has been very kind enough to share insights. The first point is his exam was about 70 to 80% agile and hybrid topics. He received zero questions on float and perhaps three questions on earned values such as SPI and CPI metrics. Mohammed did not get any formula questions to calculate and did not need the calculator or the whiteboard. Mohammed suggests focusing on learning the Scrum framework inside out and how to work with a product owner on a day-to-day -day basis. Mohammed says, think visual mapping of the project with the product owner, the Scrum master and the team and understand the entire framework. Focus on understanding the most popular agile frameworks and how they could apply to different situations such as XP, Lean, Scrum, design thinking and so on. Mohammed says the people questions were still very traditional PMP, but bundled in an agile scenario. There are a lot of select two type questions, which are tricky, and you'll need to know every single step in the Scrum framework to firm up your chances of success. Also backlog grooming, refinement, sprint ceremonies, retrospectives, reviews, all of that language you do need to be aware of this for your exam. Mohammed says there are a lot of matching questions. Now you do remember what matching questions are like. They are matching questions in which you will have something on the left to match with something on the right. Which step on the left corresponds to how a project task, agile or predictive should be prioritized on the right. You need to be prepared to understand how hybrid projects work and agile conversions as covered in the Agile Practice Guide. In other words, you need to understand how to go through an agile transformation, what you should do, being aware of change management and how it tapers into this discussion. Focus on communication, resource, risk, stakeholder, those knowledge areas, and also some change request scenario questions. Now, for those of you that are not intimate with the PMI's new exam, you have 180 questions, five are pre-test questions, you have 230 minutes. The exam content is broken down into people, human interactions in the project environment, be it agile, predictive, or hybrid. Process, 50%, project management, processes, tools, techniques, and methods, be they agile, predictive, or hybrid and business, the business strategy as it relates to projects, be it in an agile, predictive or hybrid environment. And the exam is broken down in this pie chart and you can see that process is a huge chunk of 50%, but people is also quite significant, 42%, business 8%. So if you take a look at the PMP exam content outline or the handbook, you see this breakdown. And it is important to understand that the people piece at 42% could be split evenly, process piece split evenly between agile and hybrid and predictive. So in addition to this, be aware that the exam could be split into two broad components as shown in the next figure, agile and hybrid 50, predictive 50. And with this in mind, it's extremely important to understand the essence of agile and to feel comfortable with the idea of hybridization. So people say, why did the PMI do this? Well, they did research. They realized that they needed to be an injection of some more agile oriented topics and hybridization. So predictive agile and hybrid approaches will be found throughout the three domain areas. And these domain areas that we've talked about, people process business, think of each one of these as being split. Predictive, 50%. Agile and hybrid, 50%. These domains are the high level knowledge areas that are essential to understand the practice of project management and the tasks are the underlying responsibilities and the enablers give you an idea of the work associated with the task. For your exam, highly recommend reading the CAPM or the PMP exam, reading the Agile Practice Guide, whether you're taking CAPM or PMP, there will be Agile on your exam. The PMBOK Guide, 6th edition, highly recommended. If you're one of our students, the Essentials book, 
The Scrum Guide, if you're studying for the PMP exam, as you heard Mohammed say, very important one for you to read, the Scrum Guide, and any other project management text as you see fit. So when you get into the nitty gritty of it, you've got the domain, for example, people, and under domain, you've got a task, manage conflict, and then you've got enablers. So you need to understand the work in the enablers to fulfill proficiency in the task. If you have not read the PMP exam content outline, I highly recommend it. And if you're not aware of the questions that exist on the exam, you've got the drag and drop questions. You've got hotspot questions where you need to click an area on the screen. And that can come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Here's an example from something we put together and you could be asked simple things like this. What is the state of the project? Scenario type questions. You could get questions from the world of agile. You could get questions from the world of predictive. All I implore you, if you're a student of ours, is to do the due diligence and go through the text that we have recommended. The Agile Practice Guide is definitely very important. And if we go back to the very first point that Mohammed shared with us, this exam could be perceived as very, very heavy agile and hybrid at best. I would rather you thought of the exam as being more agile and more hybrid than more predictive because the feedback we have received over the past number of days points towards this exam being very heavily agile. The question often comes up, well, how should I study the ITTOs and how should I study the processes? Those do not go away. You should still endeavor to master the 49 processes, understand what they are, understand why they are done, and understand the tools, techniques used for them and the outputs. Note, I said, understand. And with that, I'd like to say a huge congrats to Mohammed, our student. Well done. You too can achieve success just like Mohammed did. And I would advise that you go on down to our website, projectmanagementmasterclass.com, or go on down to praiseon.com and check out the training that we currently have or the study aids. All of these will help you master the concepts. All right, you take care and bye for now.